Now, where do you store your perfumes? Is it on the dressing table, in the bathroom, in your closet? And is that actually the right place to store your perfumes? Well, I found some interesting information when it comes to how to store your perfumes to make them last for a long time. So let's get into the video. Hey my lovelies, welcome back again to the Style of Success. I'm Kelly and on this channel we're all about beautifying our bodies and minds. If you're not part of this amazing family, do click that subscribe button. We'd love to have you here. But I'm back again with another video talking about how to store your perfumes. Now I recently discovered that I have been storing my perfumes the wrong way. I thought it was just a simple straightforward thing to store your perfumes in a cool dark place and that should be fine. But apparently there's so many things that I was doing wrong that I'm sure you probably might be doing as well. So I thought let's learn the best ways to store our perfumes so that they can last a long time. Now all perfumes have a lifespan. Most of the time it's usually between three to four years but that depends a lot on the composition of the perfume, is there water in the perfume. Typically those scents that are very powerful like mosques or woods tend to last a bit longer. But nevertheless, just like food, perfumes have an expiry date. So if you notice that there is a perfume that you've used for a long time and all of a sudden you're developing a rash or like an allergic reaction, it could well be that that perfume is past its expiry date. But the most common way of knowing if your perfumes have expired is if the perfumes has lost its intensity or its projection or it's not as strong as when you bought the perfume. However, if it's still a pleasing aroma that you still like, even though it's not as intense as when you got it, then it should be safe to still use. Always make sure that you're checking it to make sure there's no discoloration or things are not changing as you're using them because that is a good indication that might be the time to buy a new one. Now the most important and practical tip when it comes to storing perfumes is to make sure that you're storing it in a cool, dark and dry place. And this is literally all I knew about storing of perfumes. Now the reason why is because heat, light and humidity are enemies of fragrances, they're enemies of perfumes. So up till now, I still have some perfumes that I put on top of my dressing table. But the reason why I do this is because my dressing table is located in a corner of the room that doesn't have any direct access to sunlight and it's kind of like in a darkened part of the room. But if you have a dressing table that is close to the window, that is close to light, then do not store your perfumes there. And I know, yes, your perfume bottle is so nice, so you want to display it. If you want to display your perfumes, you can put your dressing table at a darker part of the room where it doesn't have access to air or sunlight, or you can actually get these cabinets that have kind of like a protective glass. Now I found some really nice cabinets in Amazon and I will link them in the description. You can actually see if you can purchase one of them and use them to actually store your perfumes or store your cosmetics. That way you can control where you put it and you can keep it away from direct sunlight. Now the next tip, which is a no brainer, is to make sure that you always seal the bottle of your perfume. I know sometimes we're busy in the morning and you open the bottle and you spray your perfume and you run out without sealing it. Now, perfume degradation starts the moment you open the box and bring out the perfume bottle and lift up the cork of the perfume. Then you are introducing like oxygen into the perfume, you're introducing air. You also have top notes in your perfume that can evaporate because it is not sealed when it is not in use. So always make sure that you are sealing the top of your perfume bottle and making sure that you're preserving those lovely luscious notes in your perfume scent. Now this point I actually found interesting because I had never known this and that is that you should always keep your perfumes in the original boxes. This was very, very interesting to me. I didn't realize how important it was to always keep the perfume bottle in the boxes. I would just take my perfume out, fling the box anywhere, and then I'm good to go. I mean, I have my perfumes. I would just, you know, take it and start using. But apparently keeping the perfume bottles in their original box helps to protect it from sunlight, protect it from heat or 
varying temperatures and it can actually help to increase the life of the scent. In the same vein, leaving the perfume in the bottle that it originally comes in is actually a better way of preserving the bottle. That is because the bottles have been created to be airtight so that nothing comes out of it or nothing evaporates from the perfume and so it's always good because I remember when we were younger I had friends who would take a syringe to take out you know like some perfume from the original bottle and store it in any other container that they found but each perfume is made to be airtight and also it comes with a specific nozzle and spray so that whenever you spray it you get a specific amount of scent and also it helps to prevent contamination by air so it's actually a good idea to keep your boxes and don't fling it away so that you can preserve the life and increase the life of your perfume. The next point, which is really interesting, is to avoid excessive shaking of your perfume bottle. Who knew? What happens is anytime you shake the bottle of the perfume, you actually introduce bubbles into the perfume. And this is especially where you have um, perfumes that have water and alcohol in them. Now the introduction of these bubbles can actually begin to cause and form a bit of degradation when it comes to the scent. So please make sure that you avoid excessively shaking your perfume bottle. In the same vein, try to store your perfume bottles on a lower shelf and not on a top shelf. Because imagine you bought this expensive bottle of perfume that you really like, but you're trying to keep it in a safe place and so you keep it up. If that perfume falls down, even if the bottle doesn't break, you are then introducing that excessive bubbles and excessive shaking. So try to store your perfumes on a lower shelf or better still put it in a closet or in a dresser drawer. Now another useful tip, especially when you really like a particular perfume, is to buy the travel size of the perfume so that whenever you're on the go, you can throw it to your handbag if you are traveling or you have a jet set lifestyle, then you always have your favorite perfume on hand with you to go wherever you need to go. This way you're not logging around a larger bottle of the perfume and you have a small travel size and you're good to go and you can have your lovely scent wherever you're going. Now this tip I actually found to be interesting and that is storing your perfumes in the fridge. Yes, the fridge. Now I know recently several brands have come out with a cosmetics fridge as a way to store your skincare and hair care products to help them last longer. Now the reason is that because the fridge more or less has a stable temperature, it's one of the best ways of storing whether it's your skincare or hair care products. Think about it, you know, some days it's really warm and the next day it's a lot cooler. That happens a lot in the UK and I'm sure it happens in so many other parts of the world. So you can imagine that your cosmetics, your perfumes are having that fluctuation in temperature. Now, especially in hot and humid places, the natural oils in the essence of the perfume can begin to coagulate and break down. So if you want to avoid any oxidation or chemical degradation, it's always a great idea to make sure that your perfumes are stored in a place that has more or less a stable temperature. Now, this tip is really, really important. Never ever store your perfumes in a bathroom. Now, I used to store some of my perfumes and my body mists in the bathroom because I thought it's the best way to use them. Once I'm out of the shower and I've dried myself down, I would spray the body mists or some of my perfumes on my body. And I thought that that was the best way to, you know, store them and have easy access to them. But as we mentioned earlier, humidity is the worst thing for your perfumes. So please, please avoid putting your body mist or your hair mist in the bathroom because you are just introducing a lot of humidity to your fragrances and this will cause a lot of degradation to your perfumes. So if you want optimal results in storing your perfumes, always make sure you're keeping your perfume bottle upright. You have the lid on the bottle. Make sure you store the perfume in the box and keep it in a cool, dry and dark place so that your perfumes can last a really, really long time. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do smash that like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm share with people who are looking for this information. But in any case, I'm going to link some more videos on sense and style that you can watch. But until next time, take care of yourself and I will see you in the next videos.